Welcome to your meditation. I'm Dr. Robert Eric Dinenberg, and I'll guide you through from start to finish. We'll begin with imagery, then we'll go to mindfulness beginning with the feet, the breath in the abdomen, then we'll go to loving kindness in the heart, and we'll finish with imagery. So when you're ready, let's start with imagery. Search your imagination, search your memory, and find your tree. This is the imagery of the tree. See your tree in all the details. Branches reach up to the sun. Roots reach into the earth. Your tree is flexible to bend in the breeze. Take a moment and place your attention inside your tree and see if you could experience what it feels like to reach up to the sun, collecting the bright energy of the sun in your leaves. What does it feel like to be flexible, to bend in the breeze? And what does it feel like to reach into the earth with your roots, connecting with the earth for nourishment? stability, sustenance. Observe your tree in harmony, in balance. And when you're ready, let go of your tree and enter the practice of mindfulness, beginning with your feet, here we answer the very simple question to ourselves. What does it feel like to have my feet on the ground in this present moment? Just as your tree connected with the ground, with the roots, notice now what it feels like to have your feet on the ground. Mindfulness is present moment attention without judgment. So whatever you notice is okay. There's no right or wrong, no good or bad. Simply present moment attention. You might notice different points of pressure presenting to different parts of your feet. You might observe what it feels like to have your feet in your shoes, in your socks. You might even notice temperature. And if you don't notice temperature, simply register, I don't notice temperature. So you see, there's no judgment. Whatever you notice is okay. Whatever you notice is okay. Anything that takes you away from this focus is a distraction. Any thought about the future or the past any worry or internal dialogue, any expectation or judgment, anything at all that takes you away from this present moment noticing of your feet is a distraction. And with forgiveness, with patience, notice distractions, let go, one by one, with forgiveness, with patience, Notice and let go. Notice and let go. And time and time again, shepherd your attention back to your feet. Back to answering this very simple question. What does it feel like to have my feet on the ground in this present moment? Anything else is a distraction. Notice distractions with forgiveness, with patience. Let go and shepherd your attention back to your feet. And when you're ready, 
let go of your feet and shift your attention to your abdomen. Here we find the home base for mindfulness of breathing. Here we can answer the very simple question to ourselves. What does it feel like to breathe in this present moment? Explore and discover your own way of noticing your own breath. Your own way of noticing your own breath might include registering a rising of your abdomen as you breathe in and a falling of your abdomen as you breathe out. Your own way of noticing your own breath might include registering an expanding feeling as you breathe in and a deflating feeling as you breathe out. You might observe an increase of pressure around your belt area as you breathe in and a decrease of pressure as you breathe out. Find your own way of noticing your own breath and place your attention here with a fierce dedication. Answering to yourself this very simple question. What does it feel like to breathe in this present moment? Anything that takes you away from your breath is a distraction with forgiveness with patience, notice all distractions one by one, notice and let go, notice and let go, notice and let go, and shepherd your attention back to your breath. Back to answering this question to yourself, what does it feel like to breathe in this present moment? Any thought about the future or the past? Any worry or expectation? Any internal dialogue or judgment? Notice and let go. And time and time again, shepherd your attention back to your breath. Shepherd your attention back to your breath. Notice distractions with forgiveness. Let go and shepherd your attention back to your breath. And when you're ready, let go of your breath and shift your attention to your heart. Here we find the home base for loving kindness meditation. Loving kindness is wishing four very simple phrases for your own heart and for the hearts of others. The phrases are, may I be safe? May I be mentally happy? May I be physically happy? May I live with ease? And we could wish these phrases for our own hearts and for the hearts of others. In preparation to wish loving-kindness first for your own heart, 
create with your imagination a healing circle. This is a circle made up of anyone from any part of your life who is there to wish you unconditional love, unconditional support. Find yourself in the center of this healing circle, surrounded by these loving beings. See if you could sense the encouragement around you. As you wish for your own heart, saying to yourself, may I be safe. May I be mentally happy. May I be physically happy. May I live with ease. Have your heart accept your loving kindness. Accept these phrases for your own heart. May I be safe. May I be mentally happy. May I be physically happy. May I live with ease. And notice what it feels like to wish loving kindness for your own heart and have your heart accept your loving kindness. And when you're ready, begin to circulate outwards your loving kindness. Start with someone from your healing circle, someone who is helpful, and from your heart to theirs, Extend these phrases. May this person be safe. May they be mentally happy. May they be physically happy. May they live with ease. And now, to extend further your loving kindness, Find someone from your life who you wish to extend these phrases toward. From your heart to theirs. May this person be safe. May they be mentally happy. May they be physically happy. May they live with ease. Now see if you can find someone from your life who needs help. From your heart to theirs. May this person be safe. May they be mentally happy. May they be physically happy. May they live with ease. Now search your life for someone who's having a triumph. Something great is happening for this person. From your heart to theirs. May this person be safe. May they be mentally happy. May they be physically happy. May they live with ease. See if you can find a neutral person. Here's someone who you might see from time to time, but you haven't formed an opinion about them, so for you, they're neutral. Search your life for this person and from your heart to theirs. May this person be safe. May they be mentally happy. May they be physically happy. May they live with ease. Now see if you can find a challenging person. 
You don't have to pick the person that's the hardest to be around. But find someone for who you, this person is a little hard to be around, and from your heart to theirs. May this person be safe. May they be mentally happy. May they be physically happy. May they live with ease. Finally, extend outward to your comfort level to anyone else, to all people, to all beings. From your heart, circulate outwards. May all beings be safe. May all beings be mentally happy. May all beings be physically happy. May all beings live with ease. Notice how you feel connecting with your heart on these levels. If you wish, you can take this opportunity of great heart communication to ask your heart a question, maybe something you've been wrestling with in your mind. Ask your heart and see if you can ask in such a way where you don't expect an answer right away. Simply ask your heart. and rest in this reunion with your heart. And when you're ready, let go of your heart and shift your attention to a final imagery practice. This is the imagery of the dolphin. Search your memory your imagination, and find your dolphin. See your dolphin come up out of the water, breathe out through the blowhole. The exhalation mists up into the sky. And your dolphin breathes in through the blowhole and goes back underwater. Now imagine you can breathe like you're a dolphin and your blowhole is in the very top of your head. So as you breathe in, the breath comes in, your blowhole washes downward over your brain, downward over your body. And as you breathe out, this wash continues downward over your body, washing downward and finally washing out the bottoms of your feet. And on the next breath, like the tide coming back, imagine you can breathe in from the bottoms of your feet. As you breathe in, the wash comes up, washes upward over your body. And as you breathe out, continues to wash upward over your entire body and out the blowhole in the top of your head. Once again, breathing in from the blowhole, the air comes in, washes downward over your brain, downward over your body. And as you breathe out, this wash continues downward, downward, washing over your entire body, and finally washing out the bottoms of your feet. And on the next breath, breathe in from the bottoms of your feet. The breath comes in and washes upward, washing upward over your body as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, continuing to wash upward, upward, washing over your entire body, and finally washing out the blowhole in the top of your head.
Let your natural breath set this oceanic tide in motion. And let this oceanic tide wash over your body and mind. Breathing in from your blowhole, accept a gift from the sky, from the stars, from the sun, from the moon. Breathing out through the bottoms of your feet, give a gift to the earth. Breathing in from the bottoms of your feet, accept a gift from the earth. Breathing out through the blowhole in the top of your head, give a gift to the sky, to the stars, to the sun, to the moon. Observe your body, your breath, your heart in harmony, in balance. Congratulate yourself for taking this time to be present. As a way to transition out of the meditation, recall your tree. See how your tree reaches up to the sun, is flexible to bend in the breeze, and is rooted in the earth. Observe your tree in balance, in harmony. And just as the roots of your tree connect with the earth, notice once again your feet connecting with the ground. This time you can let there be a gentle movement in your toes. And let this movement start to transition you out of the meditation. Here, once again, we can notice, what does it feel like to have my feet on the ground? with my toes moving in this present moment. And as your toes are moving, you can start to let your fingers move and let this further movement further transition you out of the meditation. And as your toes and fingers are moving, if you wish, you can let your body move and stretch. And as you gently open your eyes or refocus your gaze, Come fully out of the meditation and see if you could look around with beginner's eyes, noticing what you see with wonder through the eyes of a child, noticing shapes and colors as if seeing for the very first time. And in this way, you can transition fully out of the meditation and into the rest of your day or night. Thank you.